Hi, Simon at Serif here with another quick Drawplus Inspire tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you an easy way to create a radial burst like the one behind this skateboard character. It's an effect you'll often see in comic books and anime. Let's go back in time and start out with the character and red background on separate layers. The first step is to create a new layer by right clicking on the layers tab. I'm naming this layer Burst and I'm going to position it between the two existing layers simply by dragging. To clearly illustrate the next steps, I'm going to hide both the character and background layers and apply a grid to the newly created Burst layer, which will make it easier for me to align objects later on. The next step is to draw a triangle on the page using the polygon quick shape. You can easily adjust the number of sides with the shape's node handles. I'll position the triangle so that the point is set to the centre of the grid and stretch the base of the shape so that it meets the edge of the page. I'm now going to adjust the rotation point of the triangle so that when I rotate the shape it pivots around the top point of the triangle. OK, time for the clever part. With the shape selected, go up to the Tools menu and select Transform. It's from here that you can choose to create multiple copies of a shape and apply a level of rotation to each copy. I want the rotation to pass through the full 360 degrees, so I'm going to apply a rotation of 30 degrees to 12 copies. Click OK to see the results. As it stands, each triangle is an individually editable shape, so it's a good idea to group everything together. Moving the complete burst reveals the original triangle underneath, which can be deleted. For an additional effect, I'm going to apply some transparency. I'm heading over to the Transparency tab to apply a radial fill. See how the burst now gets lighter towards the outside? I'd like the burst to cover the complete page, so I'm going to resize it to match the dimensions of the page. I'm now moving the burst so it's positioned in the middle of the page and with the object still selected, holding down shift and control on the keyboard and dragging out a proportional shape from the centre until each triangle fully covers the page. Let's see how that looks with the background and character layers turned on. One final tweak you might like to make before export is to crop the radial burst to the dimensions of the page. An easy way to do this is to draw a rectangle to match the size of the page. Make the rectangle transparent and hold the shift key to select both objects. With both objects selected, navigate down to the Arrange tab and select Crop to Top Object. Any objects around the rectangle will now be cropped from view. And there you have it, an impressive radial burst to add style and interest to your Drawplus designs.